Hello, everyone. So today I just want to talk to you about our reading techniques from the classroom so that you can practice with your child at home. This will be very helpful for quarter two when we have our small reading groups to help them run a little bit more smoothly. Reading is such a hands-on process in the classroom. We are usually very close to one another. I can hold their hands as they make that connection between which letter makes which sound and blending them together very carefully to learn how to read. Doing that over the internet has proved to be very challenging, not only for me as their teacher, but also for them as well. So any way we can make it, more feasible for them and more uh, natural for them, it will be very beneficial. So let's get right into it. I'm going to refer to these green CBC cards. I've given you the green ones and you also have yellow ones, but we're going to talk about the green ones today. Okay, so let's take a look at this word right here. We call these three letter words CVCs. They stand for consonant, vowel, consonant. And these will be the words that we learn how to read with. So the method that we use here in our classroom is called the dot, dot, line, dot. So that just means, and you might have uh, recognized this from our small reading groups in quarter one, we say the first letter sound, second letter sound. Remember the first letter sound, second letter sound. And then we blend those first two letters together and then add the final consonant sound. For example, s, a, s, a, sat, sat, sat. So when they're reading these letters, they should be blending the sounds out very long. That will really help them to blend the letters together. All right, so let's try another one. So when we're doing this in the classroom, I would normally be holding your child's hand and they must put their finger on the dot. I've drawn these dots on with a marker uh, you can do that with your markers at home as well. That way that when they put their finger down here, they're making the connection that this letter I'm pointing to makes the sound P. This letter that I'm pointing to now makes the sound A. Ah. And this letter makes the sound T. You really want them to make that connection to which letter makes which sounds. And please reiterate as well that we read from left to right. Sometimes I like to draw an arrow as well so that they know we're going to blend from the left to the right. So again, I will hold their hand and you can try this at home. Hold your child's hand with their finger here. P, A, P, A. Pat, pat, pat. Now you're going to notice that when you're reading some of these words, blending the sounds together at first might not come very naturally for them. They might want to separate the letters with a space, for example, pat, pat. And I just want you to encourage them that stretchy snake technique that we've been practicing where all of the letter sounds should be blended together. That will help when you are sliding your finger on the bottom line here. That way they know that the letters we are going to blend them together. Let's try again. P, A, P, A. Pat, pat. Really make sure that we focus as well on the ending letter sound. The first two letters will be quite easy for them to blend together at first, but make sure that you can really hear that ending letter sound. 
Now, another review process you can use is asking them first, which letters do you see? And make sure that they're telling you the letters from left to right. I see S, I, P. Okay, what sound does letter S make? S, very good. What sound does letter I make? I, 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 I. And what sound does letter P make? P. And then make sure again that their fingers are here. You want their eyes to be on the words, not on you, not on your mouth, but to be looking at the letters so that they are really making those connections. S, I, S, I, sip. Sip, sip. Once again, dot, 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 line, dot. And then you can read slow, slow, fast until they can read the word properly. All right, let's try just one more. So again, this is very, very helpful if you practice now with touching each letter and making that connection to the letter sounds as they read. This will be very helpful later in our small reading groups because I will ask them to follow the same process. It will be helpful if you use these cards and you can draw these dots as well or your child can draw them by themselves. And that way when they're reading with me, they're making that connection. Again, their eyes should be on the words, not on you, not on their hands, not on your mouth, but on the words. T, A, T, A. Tan, tan, tan. Good job. Once they feel comfortable, they can go ahead and move on to four letter words. But again, our focus right now will just be on the CVC, the three letter words. So when you have a four letter word, we're going to blend two letters together. So S and N. S N, sn, 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 a, sn, a, snap, snap. Same process, just going dot, dot, line, dot. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about are these right here. You can find this in the new learning resources that were just sent home. This is for your child to keep at home. Uh, we will not really be using this in the classroom and it is for them to keep and use forever. So we have our letters here and then the word cards here. So the first thing that I would recommend would be to open up your letters because we have not learned the whole alphabet yet, but we will very soon, and making sure that they're making connections. For example, can you find letter M? And then your child must look for the letter M. What sound does letter M make? Mmm. Or you can do it the reverse way where they find a letter first. Or you can pick out a letter what letter is this? This is letter O. What sound does O make? Ah, ah, ah. So that's a really good way to review the letter sounds before moving on to the spelling and the reading over here. Okay, so your child can pull out a card and you can encourage them to read it first. If they cannot read it yet independently, they can try and gather what the word is from the picture. So again, like we just learned, dot, dot, line, dot. R, e, r, e, red, red. And then they can start to make the connection of letter to sound, r. Which letter makes the sound R? 
That will be letter R. And they can find the letter R. R, eh, eh, eh. What letter makes the sound eh? Letter E. So they can find the letter E and put it on the card. Red. What letter makes the sound d? It will be letter D. So they must find the letter D and put it on the card. Again, r, e, r, e, red, red. You can even ask follow-up questions. How do you spell red? R, E, D. Because it's also important that your child is making distinctions between letter names and letter sounds. So if we ask them to spell this word, we do not want the response to be r, e, d, because that would be sounding out the word, not spelling it. So please keep in mind when you're doing activities like this. Okay, I hope this video was helpful for you. Like I said before, in quarter two, when we do our small reading groups, if you have practiced these techniques with your child at home, our small reading groups will run much more smoothly in the next quarter. Thank you once again, and I look forward to seeing you after the break. Have a very restful and healthy holiday.